So you, you said being the season that this team belonged to the defense essentially until you convinced otherwise. Did they show up today at the biggest moment? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a, a six point um, outing. It's tough. Um, any way you cut it in the National Football League. Uh, and I thought, you know, I've been really, really proud of them, uh, specifically in the last three weeks. I thought that down the stretch when we needed them most, they've really come through. So, um, yeah, I, I can't say enough about that effort uh, when, when this team needed it. It's been through a lot now to get into the playoffs despite all that. Um, well, I would say it feels tremendous. It doesn't mean that that wasn't the goal is just to get to the playoffs. However, um, understanding, uh, you know, all involved, you're talking about people that have been within the organization for 30 plus years. You talk about um, a, a fan base that hasn't seen their team go to the playoffs since 2016. Um, you just talk about a lot of people involved. Uh, it's it. I. It's very fulfilling for um, the way it happened. You know, I feel like uh, guys were very energized about their output during the season. Um, right around the bye week and right after that, and then to take five losses in a row, um, specifically the the, the last three. Um, where I thought that, you know, we really had a chance to win. Um, a, a, a phase was off at one way, shape, or form. And for guys not to quit, because it is so much easier to quit. Um, very, very proud to, you know, be called head coach of this team. The, you know, the, the it, and it wasn't just about the players that were playing in the game today. This was, um, this was an accumulated effort. Um, you can go down the line of uh, all, all the injured players that weren't able to play had an effect on this game, the, our ability to get to the playoffs, um, which is what you want for your organization, you know, for you to ultimately finish the season the right way. You have to get into the tournament and see um, and put your best foot forward. Uh, so. Very, very happy about the defense. Very happy about um, the offense. I mean, shoot, I think we've gone. How many tackles have we played? Um, where's Where's Barry when you need him? Um, but I feel like it's like seven. Um, that was, you know, Skylar Thompson, a rookie, um, gets the start, doesn't turn the ball over. Heavily, heavily um, influenced and and assisted by his position coach, his position coaches, Coach Bevel and Coach Henley, but also Teddy Bridgewater and, and Tua are humongous, in, that, that had a huge impact in how he's approached the game. And I know he's very, um, you know, that doesn't happen without them. Uh, you can go down the line. Um, you know, we had, a, I think the last quarter of the game, we had a guard playing tackle. Um, and then defensively, uh, for for them not to give up a touchdown was absolutely critical. And then how about, you know, you can almost surmise the whole season, uh, you know, which I think it, this is life. This is what a football season is. Hopefully it's not as extreme as five on, five off. Um, but Jason Sanders, you know, um, to, to come through the way he did and have all the points, especially that last one, um, you know, you have to be built different for that. So I, 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 I'm very, very happy with the entire locker room, the entire building, and I feel um, they, they wanted no part of the season being over, and it's not.